Alright everyone, I can warn you right now, this episode is going to be basically entirely just story and whatnot, so just fair warning right off the bat. Hmm, Dane isn't here. Maybe outside. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yep, just thinking. Thinking about Dust Noir. No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were being fooled really did hurt, but hearing your story earlier, Grovile, made me realize that what Dust Noir said in the future was really true, and it made me understand that Tony really did come from the future. I was going over things like that in my head. Oh, look, Grovile. Sunlight. It's sunrise. Ain't it pretty? It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. I didn't think that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. The sunrise. Then it sets. We take that for granted, and that's only natural. But things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things, and they're precious. All I'd ever known is the future world of darkness. Upon coming to this world, it's not the world, it's a time- Alright. And seeing the sun for the first time. You've already been here, you've already seen the sun. I was staggering, seeing it. I strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. There's only one thing I wanted to ask of you, Dane. It's about time in the future, when we were confronted by Dialga. Frankly, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. Flashback? You know what else has a shitload of flashbacks? I feel like I'm watching One Piece. I swear, if you take all the flashbacks from One Piece, and you just take those away, the series would be just, like, cut in half, I swear. Love this game, but the flashbacks, there's just too many. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well... I wonder too. I really don't know. Come on, Dane. Just admit it. We all know it's me. We all know I am the greatest. I just give hope to everybody. Just admit it. But maybe. Maybe because Tony was stood next to me. Yep, there you go. Right there. Tony. Have a look at this. I gotta be honest. Again, I love the story in this game, but I feel like this they just sort of shoo in like like just put this relic thing in it like they forgot about it and they're like oh shit we did that relic thing at the beginning all right right here i don't know it just seems like they've completely ignored it up to this point because they have this what could it be there's an odd pattern inscribed on it i've never seen anything like it this pattern is new to me this is my relic fragment it's my personal treasure it's my dream to one day solve the mystery behind this fragment what i was scared so easily I didn't even have the courage to apply as an apprentice at the guild. That was when I met Tony. Tony, flashback. You didn't meet me at the waterfall, you met me at the ocean. Inconsistent flashback. Yes, Tony was always there to cheer me up. And... Oh my god, really. Now at least we get this good music, I suppose. Come on. Gave me all the courage I'll ever need. With Tony, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep on going without giving up. Alright. I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Tony is a special quantity that makes others feel that way. The same way I care for Tony as a friend. You, Dane, also feel that same way. Tony is... lucky. To be blessed with a friend like you. Oh yes, I'm glad to be blessed with someone who repeats literally everything he hears. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yep. Alright. It's a guarantee that we will collect all... It's a guarantee. It's agreed that we will collect all of the time gears. First, we have to decide which of the time gears we should target. Let's check the wonder map. 
Such a funny name, the Wonder Man. From here. The underground lake seems to be the closest. How about Tree Shout Forest? That was where I got my first time gear the last time. Where is that? Here. Look at this. Look at how far away that is. Like, he suggests literally the farthest freaking thing he could possibly suggest. It's a little far from here, but... Yeah, you don't say. There's no one like Uxi guarding the time gear. Oh, great! If we had to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention. But that wouldn't be a problem here, right? Exactly. It's settled. That's where we'll go. We're off to Tree Shout Forest. Ugh, I don't like Tree Shout Forest. This is it. This is the entrance to Tree Shout Forest. Oh? Is something wrong, Grovile? The atmosphere seems different somehow. No. I must be imagining it. We'll go when you're ready. Alright, let's just quickly do storage. Um, alright. Here's basically... I hate... I hate this forest. I hate it. I think it's incredibly boring. It's not fun to watch. It's just not enjoyable. I do... It's not going to be fun for you guys to sit here and watch me do all of this because there is literally like no change between the floors. No added Pokemon. Um, no environmental change. I mean, they add like puddles later, but that's about it. So, ooh, Kadabra. Alakazam being... Oh, you are... Now you're going to kill him by yourself. Come on. Oh, look, and Dana had to do it for you. Uh, basically, here's how this is going to go. Since there's really no change, there's... I might as well just say there's really... Oh my god, Dane, really? The Pokemon in here, pretty easy. The only one you'll probably have trouble with will be... Ooh, level up. Houndoom, maybe? Um, Houndoom is a piece of cake for me. I mean, any sort of fighting ability will just... <laughs> Houndoom's dead. Look, watch. Uh, Force Palm... Not even, not even annoying. He might give you trouble because he is a little bit strong in the attack department, but and and he's like average in defense. Of course, why, why would I not step on that? Um, I can't think of anyone. Maybe Nine Tails. If you're like me and picked a fire guy like Dane, or if you yourself happen to be a fire guy and their moves are mostly fire moves. That's not going to be very helpful, considering Ninetales has an absorption ability to absorb fire, but really this is an extremely easy dungeon. It's just really long and boring, to be honest with you. So I'm basically just going to show you the first five, five floors and then just cut ahead. I think there's like 20-something floors, and, and really I just don't feel like making you guys sit through all of that. Alright, let's see here. Now oh, look at there, stairs. There are a lot of um, TMs in here. During the practice run, I got Poison Jab, which is it's a really good ability. Uh, let's see, Bite, and that should kill you. Yeah. Ralts has an annoying habit of not wanting to get hit. Alright, well, I lied. I'll, <laughs> I'll show you... Six floors and then cut because I, I I forgot to stop talking during the fade to black there. All right, so basically when we cut, we will be at the end of the dungeon. Ugh. Do you know how annoying that dungeon was? It felt like forever, and I hit three. Count them three monster rooms in a freaking row. That's a pain in the ass. Hate this dungeon. Anyway. Wha what is this? It appears time has stopped. Hmm. Time. It's at a standstill here. But but didn't they just before we were dragged off into the future with Grovile, a flashback appeared. What do you know? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Yes, yes, come on. 
Didn't Uxie and his friends make a promise that they would return the time gears to their rightful places? But the time gears... No. Oh, but the time gears... But time remains stopped here. That means the time gears may not have been put back in the rightful places yet. We'll see about that. The forest time gear was over here. They... It implies they walk like two feet. I mean, how did they not see that big blinking thing from where they were? Whatever. But what's this? It's a time gear. There's no mistaking it. But... The, but time is still stopped here. There isn't even a breeze. See? Those leaves are fixed in place. The leaves are fixed in place? Everything is ruined now! Time is really stopped here, but the time gear is back where it should be. Why is this happening? Grovile took the time gear. Shock! He did the thing he was gonna do because he told us. Dun dun dun. Hey, what are you doing? Time gear is already... Okay, I need to stop saying time gear. Time has already stopped here. It won't make any difference if I take the time gear now. There's also something that's more worrying. Um, more, more worrying? Forget it. Let's leave. Also, Dane, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before you go back to Sharpedo Bluff, I'd like you to gather some information in Treasure Town. Treasure Town? Yes. Here's what I want you to find out. Learn everything you can about what's happening in the world right now. Sure thing, I'll go find out. Everyone thinks that you're gone to the future, therefore... I know. If they find out I'm back, there will be an uproar. I'll keep low and get some news. I'm counting on you. I'm back. I've got some news like you wanted. What's the word? The word is... not very good. After we went to the future, Uxie and his friends put back the time gears in their original places. Everyone was happy because they thought time would return to normal, but time stayed stopped in those places. Even worse, it appears to be spreading. Time is stopping in more and more places. Is that true? Yep. Everyone's upset because no one can tell what's going on. Grovel, do you know what this means? If time is stopping in a spreading area, it can only mean one thing. Temporal tower is starting to collapse. Temporal towers collapsing? Correct. Temporal tower gives structure to time, so if it is starting to collapse, time itself will collapse in every winding areas. This is bad. The problem is accelerating. The planet's paralysis is coming on fast. But we, we have to hurry then. That's right. If we don't hurry, the planet will become fully paralyzed. That's only one way to stop the destruction of time now. We need to gather the time gears. D the time gears. Then the time gears must be put in place in the Temporal Tower. But there is a problem. Temporal Tower is located in a place called the Hidden Land. As the name suggests, no one knows where it is. But there isn't any time. That had no relevance to say at all, Dane. G good one. Good on you. That's correct. That's why we need to split up for now. I'll go collect the time gears. In the meantime, I want you to go search for the Hidden Land. Oh, alright. Is that okay, Tony? Okay then, you're in charge. The Hidden Land is supposedly somewhere in this world. It's the time period. Unfortunately, there is no clues as to where it is exactly, considering there's no one has discovered it yet. We should probably assume that it is quite far away. We must even consider crossing the sea to discover where it might be. Yeah, <laughs> that kinda rhymed. Cross the sea? I'm sorry, I don't have knowledge about how to do that. Maybe you should take a fucking boat. Well, I'll be off together to time gears. The time gears, I keep doing that. Good luck. Now, we should go searching too. Let's find the hidden land. So, where should we begin looking? Um, as a start, why don't we think about how we're going to cross the sea? <laughs> the best place to figure that out, let's go to the beach where everyone can see us. Well, we just happen to be here at the beach. So, no, you don't happen to be there. You walk there. You had to have willingly gone. Hmm. This isn't working. Wave crossing the sea. I'm not coming up with anything. I said we'd search for the hidden land, but... Where would we even begin looking? We have to hurry, too. Blech. Like, that's... <laughs> that's his actual reaction. Blech. It's true. We've got too little information to go on. 
We have no time to waste. We have to get locate the hidden lands as soon as possible. We need to find Temporal Tower, then put the Time Gears inside. If we fail to do that, our planet will become paralyzed. We have to stop that, whatever it takes. And to do that... Well, we have no choice. We need everyone's help. That's it. I'll tell Dane. Hmm? What is it, Tony? Let's go to the guild. Pardon? You want to go to the guild? Why? We vanished in front of everyone, remember? Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, yeah. And I miss everyone, too, but... Every everything we saw in the future. Everything about Growile and about Dust Noir. Even about your past, Tony. If we tell it all to the guild, how can they believe us? What do you think, Tony? Do you think everyone at the guild will believe us? They'll believe. Oh, you bet they will. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. They won't believe us, Tony. What should we do? Whining. If we tell everyone the truth, I wonder if they'll be able to accept it. It's true. What Dane is saying is true. Maybe no one will believe us, even if we tell the truth. But we could lie. We should tell them anyway? Why? They might not believe us, right? Well, you're not going to know unless you try. Do you say yes, Dane? We need everyone's help. All right. Let's go ask him. Yeah, yeah, come on. Stop reminiscing about the ocean. Let's go to the guild, yeah. No, no, I would not. We're here, Tony. Wigglytuff's guild. I like how whenever we show up, the gates are always locked, but when anybody else shows up, they're always open. It just always seems like that when there's, like, a cutscene. Feels like we haven't been here in a long time, but now that we're here, it feels kind of awkward to go in. After all, we did vanish in front of everyone in a mysterious way. It feels sort of awkward, even embarrassing to walk out in front of the blue. Ugh, no. Can't go around acting embarrassed. I'm not acting anything. You're the one being an idiot. Ask to go in. Okay. I'll stand above the sentry point. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. There's a footprint. But... But it's Dane's footprint. <laughs> what? Dane's footprint? <laughs> Come on. Stop your whining. There we go. It's Dane. And Tony, too. Diglett. Long time no see. W what is that? I have no idea how that metal gate mechanism works coming out of a tent. Hey, 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 it's true. Oh my gosh, it really is then. Blah, blah, blah. Guildmates are side characters nobody gives a shit about. Let's just skip their dialogue. Except for Chadot. Chadot's awesome. And Wigglytuff is me. Welcome home! Tony, uh, bleh, I just combined Dane and Tony to form the word, well, name, Doni. Never name your kid that. Ooh, I get to do Chadot's voice. I haven't done this in forever. <clears throat> well, what was that again? Just, just hold on for quite a moment. Let me get the story straight. All right. Um. <clears throat> To summarize your story so far, first, Grovile is actually a good Pokemon. <laughs> I, I seriously doubt this, but... And he was collecting the Time Gears to save the world, is that correct? Mm-hmm. And the Great Dustwar only pretended to be kind and helpful. But he was actually a heinous... heinous... heinous and wicked villain? Yep. I didn't really phrase it as heinous and wicked. Also... Tony was really Grovile's partner. Yup. So Dustmar wanted to get rid of both Tony and Grovile, so we took them to the future. Yep, and me too, because why not? Then you managed to escape from Dustmar by the sk Yeah. <clears throat> My god, that voice. By the skin of your teeth, and you barely made it back from the future. Uh-huh. And finally, this planet will soon become paralyzed, and to prevent that, Grovile has started gathering the time gears again. Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. Is that your story in its full entirety? Yep. 
And that's it. Well, Dane and Tony. I'm just gonna call him Doni from now on. You must have had a bad dream or something. <laughs> what? Why don't you two just go to your room and get some rest? Now hold on a second. Are you accusing us of lying? What we just told you is all true. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion after all. A good nap will fix that, yes. No, it's not, Chatot. Please believe us, we're not lying. That's quite enough. So, tell me, is there any part of your story that's not even remotely plausible? A place called the Hidden Land. <laughs> Unconceivable. I'm the head of the intelligence here, and I've heard of no such place. Besides, the Great Dust War is far too kind to do anything like you've alleged. Well, yeah, I couldn't believe the truth about Dustmore either. It's a huge shock, and it was really hard to accept. But... I'll hear no more of this. I don't care what you say. The Great Dustmore, the villain... That's simply inconceivable. Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anyone seriously think the Great Dustmore is a villain? We hold Dustmore in high esteem. We cannot believe it. See? See? You two are fucking idiots. Everyone shares the same opinion. But? Hmm. You can't speak up. You're only a side character. What is that, Sunflower? There is something I don't understand. That time when the Gate Dustnor was about to return to the future. Now they all start to remember the fact that he viciously brought us in there. Like, it wasn't even a request, he just... Yeah. Flashback, come on. Yeah. What Dustmore did then, it was strange. Anyway, you look at it. Really, do you think so? Do you think that Dane and Tony are telling the... Di fell into the dimensional hole by accident? Nope, Dustmore grabbed Tane. Yeah, I keep... I... <laughs> Pain. I'd keep combining the names, I don't know, and yank them in. I don't know why. Looky, the side characters are actually doing something, isn't it cute? Come on. What? Wait a minute. So this is what you think now? Are you actually saying that you now believe Dane and Tony? Well, what's your answer? Uh... I believe him. What? What did you say? So, Bidoof, you're now claiming the Great Dustnor is a villain? Uh, golly, I sure do think highly of him. But the whole idea sounds troubling when you put it in that way. And there's something more important. Yep, Tony and Dane are more important. Bet your ass I am. W what? Someone disagreeing with me? Unconceivable! Yeah, 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 side characters, blah, blah, blah. Squawk! Thanks, everyone. Thanks for believing us. Well, hiya! Sounds like we all agree, then. We all believe our friends. That's great. Then, let's begin searching for the hidden land. Hmm? What's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? Blah, blah, blah. Chadot's a douche, blah, blah. Oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about Chadot. Hmm. Chadot is convinced, right? Because Chadot believed Dane's story all along. Right, Chadot? Hmm. <laughs> uh. Well, Guildmaster, there's no fooling you. I admit it. I'm totally not a douche, and I believe the Merp in the start, yes, yes. I don't believe him. I think he's just bullshitting. That's why I was so contrary. I wanted to put your friendship to the test. Yes, friendship, yes. He might as well be, like, whistling. He might as well be just, like... <laughs> to seem less suspicious. Tony, Dane, I believe you. You're my good friends in guild membership. Now, listen up, everyone. Time has stopped in more and more places. From Dane's story, we know our world is in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of Wigglytuff's guild... 
I'm, seriously, as soon as you say in the name of Wigglytuff Guild, anything you say before or after that phrase becomes not badass at all. We'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do it, everyone. Alright, come on. Yeah, 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 you're searching for the hidden land. This is just useless now. Really nothing too important here. Alright, everyone, go search for whatever. Oh, yeah, Yumta. Alright, something useful. Torkoal, the town elder? And suddenly this town has an elder. That would be the wisest and oldest Pokemon of Treasure Town. He loves the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive that you'll find him in the hot spring. Oh, I remember. Yes, this random Torkoal was the elder. Did they, did they mention this before? I don't think they did. If they did, I, I really don't remember. It's him! It's the nice old Pokemon we met. You should put your years of wisdom to use. Or you should put his years of wisdom. Go ask Torkoal for advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask him for whatever. Yeah, everybody's hungry. Yeah. Tee hee hee. They're hungry. Let's eat. Woo. And those three seats are still empty. It's been a while since we've been in this room. It feels as though I'm finally home, you know? I'm glad everyone believed our story. Or else we'd look like total friggin' idiots. I got a little emotional over it. Wow, you don't say. Okie dokie, do I want to save my game? It's gonna ask, it's gonna ask in a minute. Up and at him, it's morning. We haven't seen that in a while. Okie dokie, would I like to save? No, I wouldn't. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. I think we're probably gonna do the special episode. I think it was Team Charm that we unlocked, and we weren't here, obviously, so... I generally like to be in the, in the little guild bed before I do a special episode, so we'll do that next time. See you guys later. Bye.